Well, hey, my friends, it is the most magical time of the year. At least I think so. The time of the year for lights and festivities. Check this out. My wife made another nice backdrop for me. So that inspired me to do another series of holiday tricks for you all. Now, it's getting a little chilly out, so I had to put on my scarf. So in today's episode, I'm going to share with you an amazing trick with this scarf. Coming right up. Well, welcome back or welcome to Presto Paul TV. I'm your host, Presto Paul. And on this channel, I teach you the best tricks, tips, and techniques on magic for beginners. If you are new to my channel, I hope you would consider subscribing because we have a ton of fun around here. We have a motto, you gotta have fun. You'll live longer. Hey, if you're thinking about it, turn on those notifications as well when you subscribe because I don't want you to miss one of these cool videos I'm gonna be doing for you this month. Hey, let's get right into the magic. Well, it is getting cold outside. At least where I live, it is starting to get cold. It is scarf season and sweater season. Is it the same for you? Are you in a cold area? If you are and you have a scarf, this is an easy trick that you can do anytime you want during the holiday season. All you have to do is come out with a scarf on. Mine's a little tight around the neck, so I'm gonna take it off and get a little bit more comfortable. All you have to do is give it a little magic pull and it goes right through your neck. Find out how to do this easy trick right now. All right, my friends, here is how to do the scarf through the neck trick. You need a scarf that's pretty long. If you can find one that's about the same length as you are tall, that's a good length scarf. You can do it with a little bit shorter, but it works a lot better if it is longer. You're gonna set up the scarf in a certain way so that they come out pretty close to even when they get shorter here, like you saw in the performance. So the right side, you want it to be right by your hip, right by your waistline. The left side, you want it to be down you know, almost to your fingertips, about 12 inches longer on this side down to your thigh. And that's gonna be down there. You're gonna take your right hand and you're gonna cross it across your body to the left side of the scarf like this. Take your left hand underneath that and hold the right side of the scarf. The one side, your right hand is holding the left side. You're gonna pull that up across your neck be careful with this, my friends. Please watch this video a few times before you attempt this. I don't want anybody getting hurt. Please practice this one carefully. So you're gonna pull this across your neck and you're gonna make a little bit of a triangle. There's a little hole right here, as you're gonna see. This part of the scarf is gonna go up over that and it's gonna create a bite, as we call it, behind your neck. And I'll show you what that looks like. Let me turn so you can see. There's a hole right there where my thumb is. That's the bite. And I'll turn from the back too so you can see it as well. So now what's gonna happen, I'm gonna remove the thumb and you will see that I have a little bit of a bite right there. And I'll show you from behind and then I'll turn around and do it again from the front. So watch right here as I pull directly outwards, that's gonna slide and slip right out of there. That is a slip knot. Please practice this one. I can't emphasize that enough. So one more time from the front, grab the right side, left arm goes underneath, come up around the neck, pull it behind your head. Now make sure when you set this up that this bite isn't sticking out to the side. So you can set this up in a mirror somewhere and just adjust it so that it is behind your head uh, right about there. Then when you come out, you just grab these and you give it a little tug will look like it comes right through your neck. So here's what I'm gonna do. I'm gonna show you this again, but I'm gonna do it with a piece of rope that'll make it easier to see that little loop right there. Hang on a second. All right, guys, here's with the rope. It actually, this was the original way this was done uh, years ago, years ago, that when this trick came out, was done with a rope for the rope through neck. I just adapted it to use it for your scarf. So if you don't have a scarf and you have a rope, do this with the rope. So I wanna make sure that this is clear about setting this up with the bite that's over here so you don't get hurt doing this. Process is the exact same thing. Come across, come across your neck, and you're gonna have this little loop right here. You're gonna pull this up and that's gonna create the bite behind your head like this. You see my thumb is through there, just like that. And when that's on there, that's gonna be the bite right there. It's gonna stay there. When you pull, you'll see it come through just like that. Let me do it quickly from the front one more time. Same thing with the displacement. Have the left side down a little bit lower. Come across your neck, make the bite, and set it up behind your head like that. And you just give it a little pull, and it comes right through. Have a blast with this one this holiday season, and be safe. 
Well, thanks so much for checking out this video. I hope you had a good time with it. If you missed any of the other videos in the series, you could check them out right down here. Hey, until next week, I'm your host, Presto Paul, and remember, you gotta have fun, you'll live longer.